Come on, little 1.5 multi-jet engine. Use the triple valves. That's it, you can do it. Keep up with this tipper truck. Where did I put my jump pack? Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful morning here in Lincolnshire. It's time to take the white SE for an MOT test. If you haven't seen the videos on the channel, recently Dad and I did some work on the car, replacing some bits and pieces on the braking system and getting it tidied up generally for the Festival of the Unexceptional, which is the 27th of July. In this video then, I'm going to take it to Neil. He is going to do the MOT test. It's about a nine mile drive away and actually I'm expecting a clean bill of health. Come with me then, you'll be in the cabin, we'll have a chat about the car, the work we've done, we'll show you the MOT test and hopefully by the end of it, well, it's going to be another year of advisory free motoring for the white SE. Oh, right, here we go. Again, we're in the white SE. This one not as clean as the Black Knight. Hopefully it will start. Come on. Won't start. Battery's knackered. Need me jump pack on her. Come on. There we go. Just needed that extra tickle. Okay, let's try again. MOT time. I'm gonna try and get the car out of where I've left it. Which is on my back lawn for a day or two. Here we go. Through the arches of proton time. You'll see the arches if you follow me on Twitter. There they go. <laughs> And out from the back, you'll see the Black Knight as well in a second. There she is. I can see her, you can't. The Proton Black Knight, which has also had an MOT this morning. Okay. It's going to be a bit busier now on the roads because school time. The MOT for the Black Knight was... At seven o'clock this morning, we're having a full day of MOTs, the Black Knight, this, and uh, the K11 Micra as well. So we're on the road now, finally, and we're in the white SE. It is a 1993 Proton 1.5 SE, 45,000 miles from new. And uh, this is the one that Dad has done a little bit of work on, on the brakes the past couple of days. But apart from that, well, we've not done anything too exciting. Um, making sure it doesn't die because I didn't bring my jump pack with me like a sausage. I'm going to have to open the sunroof, which will keep all my Malaysian followers very happy. There it is. There's the Webasto, kind of. Is that as far as it goes? goes back further than that, surely. Yeah, it should do, but it's not doing. Anyway, it's bright and early. It's 8.50 in the morning, and I've got the sunroof open on the white SE. Why? Because, well, it's a sweltering hot day. Uh, it is a 1.5 12 valve, this one. So it's the triple valve MPI edition of the Iswara, the later version than the eight valve that I normally knock about in, which is the Black Knight and Jeff. This one covering 45,000 miles. It's had a little bit of work from Dad the past uh, couple of weeks, and we've done some work on the paintwork. It's still not how I want it to be. Uh, so there is still some work to do before the Festival of the Unexceptional. We're on the way to Neil then, we will go and see Neil. His uh, MOT test centre is about nine miles and 20 minutes away. I enjoy these little drives. You can definitely tell this one is a bit more of a barge than the Black Knight. And actually, this doesn't drive as nicely. Even though it's a more modern car, it does not drive as nicely. Work we've done then, we've sprayed the wheels 
we've sprayed the side posts, we've tidied it up a little bit, we've sprayed the wiper arms, put new wiper arms on it, uh, sorry, wiper blades on it, and Dad's uh, fettled with the brakes. He's added some new brake slide rubbers from uh, the Barn Find Proton. It is a bit wallowy, this car. It is a bit barge on wheels, and it is a bit, well, sofa on wheels, I suppose. You can see I'm um, lolloping about a bit, and the fact that it's all velour interior. Well, it's a bit like being in an armchair at sea. Is it comfy to drive? Yeah, it's okay. I feel like I'm in a taxi in, in the mid-90s. Anyway, what am I expecting from this? I'm expecting a clean sheet. I'm expecting uh, nothing but a pass on the car. The springs seem to be okay. Stranger things have happened, I know. Uh, we've done all the brakes. We've tested the handbrake. We've tested all the interior. There's nothing dropping off. Um, and it seems to drive, well, fine. Exhaust, you'll see when we get it up on the ramp, is a replacement exhaust, it's gone quite rusty, but I've cleaned all underneath that back end with the jet wash if you haven't seen that video. Oh, having the sunroof open is a lovely treat uh, in the summer, but sadly in the winter and autumn and during the rain, well, you are going to get a shower. It's not one with drains. It doesn't have drains in the sunroof going into the A-pillars. It's not a factory fit thing. It's a import center fit thing. And they literally just cut a great big hole in the roof, slapped it down and sealed it. But the seals, not so good now. It's probably gonna be a case of taking the sunroof physically apart and rebonding it at some point. The water is not coming in through the glass. Good news. Well, the water is coming in. Which I'm saddened about, but I did have a big icicle <laughs> hanging from here in the winter once when I went and moved it. I am surprised that it didn't start. I've had the battery on charge past a couple of days, so it could be that um, the battery is nearing its end of life, which is a shame. But also, I think I was trying to run it with the, the fans on as well. Let's just turn them fans to, That's better. Now I can get the fans in my face. This is difficult to get out of at this time in the morning. Everyone taking their children to school. Here we go. Throwing things around in the boot. Come on, little 1.5. Use those triple valves <laughs> and your multi point injection. Come on! Now we're motoring. Oh no, that's not the Proton slogan, is it? What a great day. <laughs> Sunroof open, wind on my bald spot, and I'm in a Proton. Right, so I'm arriving at the MOT test centre. We will get it pulled on to the ramp. Wave at my friend Nock. This is the second MOT of three today. And we are on. Ta-da! Neil actually might want me to move further. I need to go backwards. Now we're motoring. Stop saying that. You can't say that. That's not the proton phrase. Now we're in a proton. So we're on the ramp and the first thing Neil does is give the car a visual inspection. Make sure there's nothing hanging off. Making sure that everything is okay. Before moving on to the emissions test. So you'll see in a moment. Neil pop a probe into the exhaust, there it goes, and he tests the emissions of the car, uh, the oxygen, the CO2, etc., making sure that everything is okay. Good news, the CO2 volume is really low on there, and so it's passed the emissions test. The next thing to do is, well, to take a good physical look at all the components, and you'll see Neil send the car up in the air on the ramp slowly, so he can have a look at everything underneath, the suspension, the wheels, the steering, the tyres, 
uh, and all the components to make sure nothing is faulty. Uh, I missed a bit when I cleaned it. There's some uh, muck on there. You can see there's a little bit of surface rust on the sills there, but nothing major to worry about. What I'm going to do is clean that off and give that uh, a little bit of a wax oil. Underneath the car, having a look then, the arms are okay. No major rust or rot. That fuel tank looking good, of course. I have given it a little bit of a jet wash underneath. Uh, checking out this side. Again, I'm going to have to do some preparation and paint pro and protection on the back there. Uh, Neil, taking a look then, visibly inspecting the boots, the um, ball joints, the tyres and uh, making sure everything's okay at the front before moving on to the back. And you won't be able to see the whole test here because I'm not allowed to film the whole test. So this is the highlights of the test. Looking at the offside sill, again, a little bit of surface rust, but not as bad as the near side. I don't really want to start putting black wax oil all underneath there, but it might have to be something that I do in the end. At the front, looking good. Uh, sorry about the flashing light there, Neil's got some new lights. I did tell him off uh, for, for installing some LED lights that's causing havoc with the camera. Now to have a look at the back, and it's up in the air again. You can see that uh, the exhaust is looking good. Again, making sure the springs are okay, making sure there's no uh, nothing hanging off. And it's time to get the car back down now onto the deck and onto the rolling road to test things such as the brakes, the lights, the window wipers, etc. This is the bit where Neil gets to get in the car and take it for a little spin across the workshop. So you can see the reversing lights have come on. Uh, Neil will check the lights again in a second, make sure they're all okay. And this is the bit I like, testing out the brakes, testing out the handbrake, etc., making sure they're all okay. Fingers crossed at this point, Neil hasn't found anything um, wrong. Look at them three-spoke uh, alloy hubcaps spinning round, <laughs> testing the brakes. And that is pretty much it. The end of the MOT test. Fingers crossed for a pass. Neil's got a smile on his face, which is always a good sign. Is it a pass? Well, we'll soon find out. I hope so. That's it then, another year of trouble-free and advisory-free motoring for the 1.5 SE. And I was quietly confident with this one after all the work that Dad and I put in last weekend. It does look good underneath. And the paintwork, well, it's, it's nearly there. I've got a lot of work to do with regards to uh, protecting it and waxing it and giving it a good old wash and wax. But the decontamination stage that I've done has really uh, taken some of that grime out of the paintwork that we did have. Neil likes this car, he was a fan of it, and uh, I like this car as well. If you don't know the story, remember, I bought six cars just to buy this one. <laughs> I had to buy the whole collection to get this white SE saloon that I had been hankering after for so long. And I do enjoy driving it, even though I had a little bit of a moan about it at the beginning. What's next? Well, we will be at the Festival of the Unexceptional this weekend, which is Saturday the 27th of July. And the car will be on a special stand featuring sustainable fuel, which I think is the future of classic car motoring. More on that in the next month or so. Work that's ongoing, we've got work to do on the Audi A4, and there'll be plenty more Proton bits coming up. I might see if I can get Dad to get Jeff, the 1.5 SE LE, out of the garage and recommissioned an MOT this summer too. Three Protons on the road. Am I bonkers? <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You're watching the bloke with the Proton collection on YouTube. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. Um, I would like to just say thank you to everybody who has followed the channel so far, who has watched the videos. Lots of people subscribed the past couple of weeks. That's due to me jet washing a rusty old, dirty old Proton Iswara. Lots of people from Indonesia and Malaysia to the channel. So hello to my Malaysian friends, but I'm not forgetting the people that have been there from the start and the old stalwarts who just enjoy seeing Dad and I farting about with old cars here in Lincolnshire. Thanks as ever, genuinely, I am humbled. Uh, I do this because I enjoy it, but also because, well, apparently you seem to enjoy it as well. Thumbs up, please, for the video. Comment down below, what do you want to see next? Do you want to see us get Jeff back on the road, which is my 1.5 SELE? 
And was it ever in doubt for the SE White? And are you coming to the Festival of the Unexceptional? Let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. You are all absolute legends. See ya. There are so many more Proton related videos on the channel and I've actually selected a couple that I think you might like here uh, on this page. Give them a click to watch them now. Don't forget to subscribe for more Proton fun and lots more videos coming soon.